Victor Wimbenyama, the rookie, the number one overall pick, will have a teammate in Reggie Bullock after a major trade was just completed. We're going to get all into it. Uh, we all know that Victor Wimbenyama, the seven-footer, he's going to need some help out there, you know, and the Spurs have acquired Reggie Bullock in a three-team deal. Um, obviously, the Dallas Mavericks were in it. This was a major situation that took place, but I think what people are missing is that the Spurs just got better. You know, they got a sharpshooter. You know, this guy, Victor Wimbenyama, is going to get double teamed. The defense is going to collapse. You just opened up the floor for Victor Wimbenyama, you know, to get a sharpshooter in Reggie Bullock. We're going to get on into everything. Like I said, this was a major, major pickup. This is being reported everywhere. Make sure you subscribe to Flight Sports TV for more Victor Wimbenyama. You know, content, spurs, you know, and everything that's going on. You got Summer League fastly approaching. You know, uh, the Spurs, you know, acquiring Reggie Bullock from the Dallas Mavericks in the three-team trade. That also involves the Boston Celtics. Um, <clears throat> obviously, uh, Grant Williams was the centerpiece of this. Um, he signed on a four-year, $53 million deal. You know, um, Spurs, they're going to receive Reggie Bullock in the unprotected Dallas pick swap in 2030. So, clearly, you see what's going on with San Antonio, the future and the present. You know, the Celtics, they get two second-round picks. So, is clearly, you know, they wanted to get off, you know, Mr. Grant Williams. You know, they, they wasn't going to pay him that kind of money. Dallas just got better, uh, but San Antonio, you know, I think that, and and this guy Reggie's been around for a long time. He's a veteran player. You know, I think he's a guy that I think could alleviate some of the pressure, you know, off of um, Victor Wimbenyama. He's a veteran who's going to um, be there for him. You know, when, when, Re when Reggie gets the ball passed to him by Victor, he's going to make sure he, he take care of business. And, um, I got um, no doubt in my mind about that. Re Reggie had a lot of good days, obviously, um, most notably the New York Knicks. But um, obviously, he came in with the Clippers. Um, <clears throat> he was definitely um, a first-round uh, selection. You know, he was drafted 25th overall, and this is Reggie. Last season, he averaged seven points. Uh, shot 40% from the field and 38% from the three-point line. Back in his glory days with the Knicks and obviously the Pistons, at one point he shot 44% from three. And then with the Knicks, he shot 41%. So this is the kind of shooter that the Dallas, part of me, that the San Antonio Spurs um, have acquired. Um, so this is, I was wondering like, okay, you got Victor. Who's he playing with? You know, um, that was a major key for me. You know, um, like, because... We all know that Victor is going to receive a whole lot of attention. Clearly, this team is headed back to the lottery. I think that Stevie Wonder could see that. Um, there's nothing that nobody's going to be able to do to, to fix that issue. Um, <clears throat> obviously, you have Victor. You got Keldon Johnson, Trey Jones, Devin Vassell, Zach Collins, Devontae Graham. You know, um, Malachi Braunham. I mean, Gordy Jang. You got a lot of people. It, it, this is a talent. This is this 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 don't really have much talent. Like I said, Devontae Graham, Zach Collins. I mean, if that's your pieces, I mean, you really in trouble. And um, I like that Popovich, Buford. You know, <clears throat> they 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 understand what's needed, and they get this domino. Now they need to get other dominoes. They need to get other winning pieces. People that actually could contribute to winning. Because I doubt Victor came here to lose. He's going to have all of the tutelage, you know. Obviously, we know what's going on with Victor. Uh, you got Tim Duncan in this corner. You got Mono Ginobili, Parker, you know. Um, but at the end of the day, these guys can't play for him. So he's got to um, turn it up a notch, in my humble opinion. You know, he's got to make sure that he brings it, you know, every single night. Um, Bullock is 32, like I said. Um, for the Mavs last season, like I told y'all, he shot 38%, and I'm pretty sure that the Spurs is looking to bring that over, you know, um, <clears throat> so 
They got Doug McDermott, like I said, Vassell, uh, Seti Olsman. You know, um, so there was acquired in the trade last week with the Cleveland Cavaliers and the Miami Heat. Um, so that this, this this gonna be pretty pretty smooth. You know, um, Bullock is entering the final season of a three year, thirty million dollar contract, and is set to make a little more than ten million for the upcoming campaign. So. The San Antonio Spurs are clearly trying to improve this roster around that new rookie. You know, um, with all of the pieces to get um, to get Seti Oseman. You know, I, I mean, they got the pieces now. I think these are these are Greg Popovich guys. You know, um, and all of these players can help Victor. You know, he's gonna need all of the veteran leadership possible to be successful because it's gonna be tough. He's going to have nights where it's just like he just ain't going well for him. But he will have nights where he dominates. And it's going to be a large part because guys like this open the floor for him. You know, that's very important in today's game, three-point shooting. Um, that's that's really determines a lot. And if they don't have that, and as before these moves were made, the Spurs really didn't have any talent. They've injected talent into this roster. You know, they've upgraded it. You know, are they just talented? Are they a talented basketball team? No, but they've gotten a little bit better. Um, I still think they're headed for the lottery. I think that Victor, he probably like, just me personally, I think he's probably like three or four years away from possibly playoff contention. You know, uh, they're going to have to bring in another piece <clears throat> in order for that to take place because – the way the team is right now, it's not enough. You know, they need more. And how do they get that? You know, um, they got to maximize everything that they have at their disposal. But great, great organization. You know, this is a first-class organization. We, discuss, we discussed in San Antonio. <clears throat> Pardon me. So they got a lot of things working for them. They know what they have. You know, they got they know what they have to do to build this team around him. Clearly, they're going to need another all-star. I think they wanted to get in the sweepstakes for one of these guards. You hearing um, even, um, what's, this, what's my man's name? Dame, I'm hearing, he, he wouldn't mind going to San Antonio. I don't know if that's just a joke or what, because they know San Antonio don't have the assets or what. So I don't know what that's all about. You know, but it's crazy, you know, but it's flight sports. I just wanted to bring this trade to you. Uh, Victor Wimbenyama, he's gained himself an extreme sharpshooter. Now, let's see how he uses this player at his disposal. I'm talking Reggie Bullock. It's flight sports.